if different colors of light, as it were, traveled at different speeds, then it's easy to tell uh, there's a, a sudden nova, right? A sudden star appears in the sky. Well, do all the colors come in at the same time, right? You, could, you, you would notice if, no, it was first, first the purple and then the red, right? Um, but you wouldn't have measured the speed of anything by doing that. Oh, this is an abuse right. of language. Of course, it depends on what you call speed. Speed is defined as distance over time. And in relativity, yeah. there's no uniform that's, 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 measure that's, of distance and there's no uniform measure of time. So there's no measure of speed. But that's the high school definition. It's not the one we use. Well, what, what definition do you use out of high school? Well, for, for example, speed? for example, be the time of arrival of different colors. I mean, this is the obvious. Time of arrival measured by who? Not the personal yeah, looks. Way. So you have a star, and imagine if you start seeing blue first, and then the yellow comes, and then the red yes, comes. Yes, that was my example. So this is the example, exactly. So but that is... doesn't measure the speed of anything. Oh, this is a question of language, right? Yeah, I'm being careful about the language. Yeah, you I, think, I think the, the language is completely useless here. I mean, all you care about is actually whether there is a phenomenon or not.